So if acne scar bothers you, there are safe and effective treatment. The treatment can diminish acne scars that can cause depression in the skin and treatment can also safely reduce scars which are raised. So many treatments are available. In short, if I have to tell you, there are laser treatments, minor skin surgeries, chemical peels, fillers, then a dermatologist can actually give you an idea what treatment is required for your particular case. And most treatments can actually happen in a daycare, as a daycare procedure. So you don't have to get admitted. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Now let's talk about depressed acne scars. Many effective treatments are there. The best result often comes from using two or more treatments. The treatment that a dermatologist may use to treat depressed scar may include acne scar surgery. Now this sounds scarier than it is because this surgery is a minor surgery which treats the very noticeable acne scars. The goal is to create a lesser noticeable scar. The remaining scar should fade with time. So to perform this acne scar surgery, a doctor dermatologist may lift the scars, bringing the scar closer to the surface of the skin, tending to make it lesser noticeable, less noticeable. Another type of acne scar surgery involves breaking up the scar tissue. And these type of surgeries can be performed in the medical office, in the clinic. No need to get admitted. It's a daycare procedure. So very easily done in some time, a little amount of time. Patients remain awake and numb, so they do not feel the pain. This acne scar surgery is best for treating few depressed scars. If you have few depressed scars, the best treatment is acne scar surgery. The second procedure is resurfing procedures. When a patient wants to diminish the appearance of widespread acne scarring, a dermatologist recommends resurfing procedure which actually removes the layer of skin which allows the body to produce new skin cells. Now, a dermatologist may use many different procedures to do this. They can use a laser skin resurfing chemical peeling, derm abrasion, microderm abrasion which is different from the kits which you can buy for home use. This is different. Now resurfing works well for treating acne scars that are nearly flat. They are not too deep. So they work better for them. Even Derm abrasion which removes the top layer of the skin and some of the middle layer cannot effectively treat deep acne scars. So this resurfacing procedure is best for depressed acne scars that are not very deep and useful for contouring the scar edges to make the scar less noticeable. Deep scars often require a skin surgery and then resurfacing. Then talking about skin fillers, dermatologists use fillers to safely and effectively plumb up depressed acne scars and a doctor may fill acne scars with collagen or with the patient's own fat tissue or other substance. Many fillers give us a temporary result which lasts between 6 to 8 months. Some fillers are permanent, but both temporary and permanent fillers have a unique pros and cons. So you need to talk to your doctor about the type of filler he is using on you and what are the pros and cons of that filler before getting a skin filler. This type of treatment skin filler is best for treating if there are a few depressed scars but not a deep ice pick scar.
Now then there is a procedure called skin tightening. This is a new treatment and the, it tends to be more affordable. This treatment is safe for all skin colors and the dermatologist often uses a technology called radio frequency to tighten the skin. As the skin tightens, the depressed acne scar become less noticeable. Radio frequency requires repeated appointment. The most patients return once a month for at least four months. After a radio frequency treatment, many say they feel a burning sensation for about one hour and their skin has a pinkish color for two to three days. This radio frequency treatment requires some at home care also. For at least one week after each treatment, you will need to apply sunscreen every morning and a moisturizing cream every night. Dermatologist will recommend wearing a sunscreen that offers UVA and UVB protection with an SPF of at least 30 or more and water resistant and applying it every two hours if you are outside. This skin tightening procedure is best for depressed acne scars and sometimes skin tightening can also effectively treat box scar or ice pick scars. Then there is something called as collagen induction therapy. This is also called as needling or micro needling. This treatment encourages your body to make more collagen. To perform this surgery, your dermatologist moves a sterile handheld needle studded roller across the depressed acne scars and this punctures your skin and then as your skin heals, it produces more collagen. Now this procedure takes time to see the result, sometimes as long as 9 months. Most people however notice gradual changes before 9 months and many patients require between 3 to 6 treatments and return every 2 to 6 weeks for a treatment. But after every treatment you may have some swelling and possibly bruising. The side effect usually clear in 4 to 5 days. You will need to follow a skincare plan with this type of treatment also and research has shown that this treatment is safe for people of all skin colors. This treatment is best for if you have widespread acne, depressed acne scars and it is not a treatment for raised acne scars. No, because it will stimulate more collagen. So raised acne scars are already because of more collagen. So it's not a treatment for raised acne scars. It's only for depressed acne scars. Then there is something called as electro desiccation. This electro desiccation is a treatment where electric probes are used to heat the tissue, which causes the tissue to die. Yes, this treatment may be a part of your treatment plan if you have a box scar acne scar. Electro desiccation by itself is not an effective treatment alone, but it might be a part of the treatment plan because it is best for shaping or reducing the edges of a box scar acne. So these are all the options for treatment of a depressed acne scar. Hope you like the video and watch my other video which is coming up for raised acne scar treatment.